Let's talk about rank and volume. Rank and volume. And I want you to know that volume really does equal money. Volume really does equal money or bank. So think rank and bank. We're going to delve a little bit deeper into cycle bonus. In terms of cycle bonus, remember the formula is a 100 to 200 ratio. So it's your right leg and your left leg, one of them is bigger than the other one most likely. One of them most likely is being added to by a coach or coaches that share that leg that are above you in your genealogical tree. Maybe not, it's possible that it depends on your position. It is possible that your upline coach is a discount coach and that you're on the inside leg of a discount coach. It is possible and it is okay. You can build an incredible business no matter your placement and even in spite of it. But some of you will have and see coaches being added to your team and you're gonna think, hmm, so-and-so just got added to my team and I don't know who they are. It means someone else above you added a coach and they happen to share that leg with you. It also means that the other leg is yours to do alone. We all have at least one leg that we are entirely responsible for building all by ourselves. That's what we call the weak leg. So would start paying attention to your volume totals all day. I mean every day, I don't mean all day, but every day pay attention. In particular, pay attention on Wednesday night. Wednesday night is the big day to look at your volume and see where your points are on your right and your left side. On your left side, let's pretend you have a hundred volume points. That means that's not your volume. Your volume is PV. Your volume is personal volume. Your volume is probably 90 from your own Shakeology order or more than that, uh, potentially much more than that, depending on how many orders are going through your business center. I'm talking TV. Team volume. In terms of cycle bonus, we're talking about what your team under you and even any coaches that have been deposited for you under you. That's all part of your team volume. That all is part of your cycle bonus um, pool. So if on Wednesday night you have a hundred team volume points from your left leg, let's say hypothetically, and let's say you have 200 on your right leg, you will make $14. whoop de doo <laughs> But don't scoff at that measly little $14 because that will grow in time. That will grow significantly in time if you're hitting Success Club, recruiting new coaches, and teaching them to hit Success Club. It will grow exponentially in time to provide a significant and substantial weekly cycle bonus income that most likely will far surpass anything you could make in sales cycle bonus. So placement matters. So always be talking to your upline or your upline star diamond, um, me, someone who really understands placement and strategy because it's very much a game of strategy and chess and it matters where you're placing coaches. It matters which of your legs is weaker and stronger as to where you might want to place someone who has big goals and plans on working hard. It, it matters uh, where you're gonna place someone who wants to build if you're going for diamond rank and you already have an emerald on one side, for example. So please, please lean up to your uplines and get advice on placement. It's critically important. Now, sometimes someone will sign up and you didn't have a chance to place them where you want. You have a little tiny window of time to get an email out to coach relations and to move that, but jump on it. Every time you enroll a new coach, check where they were placed, because you do have time to do something about it. I wanted to say uh, that it is possible to hit diamond rank and not be making a lot of money in cycle bonus. It's possible to hit diamond rank and to be making a lot of money in cycle bonus. It really depends on the quality and the density, if you will, of your a tribe of 12, your, your, your four and your four, and your two emeralds. So if you have a lot of 
coaches and they're producing volume, growing, recruiting, selling things, getting volume points, your cycle bonuses at a diamond are going to be significant. As um, an emerald, your cycle bonus caps at $250 a week. So you can achieve this diamond rank and um, be what, what I call an $18 diamond because your cycle bonus as a diamond goes up to $18 a cycle instead of $14 a cycle. Incidentally, rubies are $16 a cycle. So if you have a tribe of discount coaches, which is okay, if that is how you built your diamond organization, your cycle bonus, just so you know what to expect, will be rather small. It, it's possible that it's going to be as little as $18 a cycle. Um, it's also possible if you have workers and um, runners, I like to call them, that you're making significant income. So if you find yourself developing a team of discount coaches that are just in it for the product, discount product, um, it's okay. Hit the rank. Then work towards building volume. Once you've volumized your team, then you work towards rank again. Rank, volume, rank, volume. More on that in our diamond now what? Sure. Our business is set in quarters. We literally have Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. And you will see that I incentivize any personally sponsored coach of mine to hit rank during those quarters. If you're a first time Emerald that hits diamond, you will receive a Tiffany bracelet from the Tiffany bracelet from me there. They have a beautiful um, women's bracelet and a beautiful men's bracelet that I buy for my first time diamonds that have held rank for six weeks. And for those that are already diamond, I put you in a bonus pool. So if I'm receiving a five-star bonus that gets added, by the way, to a two-star bonus, for example, then I divvy up a percentage of my, of my bonus money, and I provide some gifts for my diamonds that are actively diamond in that quarter, as well as if I, um, when I hit 10-star, and receive the 10 star bonus, I will continue the same practice. So there is incentive in rank advancing um, on our team. What if you lose rank? What if you lose rank? If you lose rank, be resilient. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. You could lose your emerald rank. Don't forget, if you do lose your emerald rank, you do lose your carry over volume bank and have to build that from scratch again. If you lose your diamond rank, Stand back up and dust it off. It's okay, and it happens, and some of our very top coaches in the company talk about losing diamond rank many times.